So another Italian future star icon is here and it's Fabio Cannavaro. On paper, has some potential. But what are these playstyle pluses? We've got... Is that acrobatic? Acrobatic and aerial plus. It's an interesting one for me, eh? For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team Coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. Mainly because he's 5'9", so we know he's a smaller setter back, uh, but they've given him the aerial presence, and, you know, you can score bicycle kicks with him. So, you know, I've, I've at it from corners, I guess. But we've also got slide tackle, anticipate, anticipate intercept, and block. And a very nice looking card. The reactions being 94, brilliant. Fantastic defending stats, almost maxed out. Even though he's small, the strength and aggression is still pretty high. The passing stats, not amazing, but not bad for playing it out of the back. And most importantly, a nice pace split with the, uh, the acceleration being higher than the sprint speed. The card does look good. And just by scanning through the squads, I'm hoping it's not going to be that expensive. Hopefully not as expensive as Baggio yesterday, but we'll check the price once it updates on Footbin or any other Foot.gg website, for example. Uh, Chemstar-wise, I think Anchor's going to be ready to go. Just to basically max up the pace as much as we can. Same with a fine tune into the defending and the physicals. Let me know what you think, by the way. Have you tried Cannavaro's base version on this game? Have you got on with the smaller centre-backs? Me and myself, I've been rocking big boys at the back all year. So it's a nice little difference, a nice little breakaway. In previous years, he's been surprisingly solid for me. So I've been a fan of him. I also back in the uh, the full back at centre-back meta, I rocked Bobby Carlos as a centre-back for a fair bit. So I'm used to the smaller players, but let's see how he plays in foot champs qualities. Smash the like if you're excited and let's go. But before we get into the video, I just want to mention something real quick. Only 12.7 of people who watch my videos are actually subbed to the channel. So if you've watched maybe one or two before and you enjoy my content, I'd really appreciate it if you could smash that button down below completely free to do so and it really helped me out a lot game number one i can confirm the boy has hair in game and he's moving all right you know passing's not phenomenal nowhere near as high as the other center backs i've been rocking recently but the nice dripping stats means you can wiggle out of presses like that. And of course, the long flowing locks in game gives him an added little in game bonus. Also, look at the foot.gg. The price for the SPC is roughly 470k. So that could fluctuate a little bit depending on uh, once it fully updates. But we should expect about 470, I reckon, is a respectable price for this SPC. So not crazy expensive, reasonable for a Fabio Cannavaro card with these kind of stats. Let's see just how well he performs in game. Can we get a little cutback goal, get sweaty early doors? Not quite. Also, do let me know who you're currently rocking as a centre-back. Have you got that Saliba still dominating as Cannavaro is quick and snappy? Acceleration on point. We make the interception, we make the read, and a nice little fizzled ball into Vieira in the middle there. Foot race. Come on, Cannavaro. Oh, no, he's been beaten. He's been bullied a little bit. Nice defending from Saliba, though. That's not ideal. That really isn't. Especially being smaller, you'd expect him hopefully to be a bit quicker. Uh, but shoulder, shoulder jewels. I know Kaka's a big boy, but he made it look too easy. Little dink there. Bobby coming in. Gives us that lead. Carrot attack of dreams. And he's had enough. Let's get on to the next one. Now, checking footbin, the SPC price is 360k, which is a lot cheaper than 450. So hopefully this is the legit price. And uh, if that's the case, it's a lot more respectable. If anything, that's exactly what I wanted Baggio's price to be yesterday. About 250 to 350 would have been a lovely price tag for the boy. So Cannavaro on paper looks good. Price seems respectable in game. Let's see how he performs, man. Nice from Cafu. Quick one to Cannavaro. Get that passing going out wide. Of course, guys, I am going to include attacking clips in this. But I'm going to try and allow my opponent to bomb forward as much as I can. I just want to, I need to win the game. You know, we're in foot champs. We've got to get the Ws. So, of course, I'm going to include me scoring as many goals as I can. But once we get a cushion, I'll let my opponent bomb forward. Salmon. There's one. Let's go. Okay, a little bit over the top there. One thing that does worry me with the smaller centre-backs is obviously that scenario when he's whipping balls in, especially with whipped pass play style or whatever it is that Lauren Hemp has. That's dangerous. A little bit lucky there. But Davies making a run down the line. I think we might have just gone offside. That's a lovely little ball though, but a little bit too late for me. This man loves a cross, doesn't he? That's a nice ball. We switched on Cannavaro. Easy. Easily done, I would say. But, I mean, that looked a little bit squeaky bum time. We've uh, we come out of it, though. Nice positioning from the boy. He does feel quick to jockey with. That's definitely a bonus. And then cross-field pass there to Cafu. Beautiful. 
Eusebio. Eusebio green time back of the net. 2-0. Come on. It's nice from Alexia. You can play Mbappe there. Cannavaro. Oh, you know what? That's class. That's class. For a second, I thought he was going to get bullied by big man Mbappe. But he's poked a foot in there. Made the interception. And made it look easy. Effortless. And a nice crossfield pass as well. Mbappe's touch is good. Oh, Cannavaro. You naughty man. That is nice. He feels super quick and responsive, especially when trying to react quickly. Reactions are really high on the card, which is definitely beneficial. And that slide tackle, very nice. He's got fantastic defensive play styles. Even though none of them are play style pluses, unfortunately, he can still make a good tackle, clutch up when needed, like he has just there. Ooh, okay. I wasn't expecting to shoot from there. 87 Mallard. That is a screamer, you know. In all honesty, I thought she was going to take an extra touch. And if she had... I'm pretty certain Cannavaro would have been there making the block. Go on, Sergio. Oh, I love this card, bro. As a CDM, this man's elite. Well, Red. I'm, little, I'm always a little bit shaky when Mbappe's running at me and I'm letting him do it, but... One-on-one -on -one defended, Cannavaro stands strong and a precision and accuracy in that challenge. And now uh, we come away with it. Okay, Sawa. I wasn't expecting that to go in. I wanted to force a corner, but the girl absolutely bags it from distance. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Opponent took his time with Messi there. Uh, but Cannavaro tracks it. We track it the whole way and make the block in the end. What a ball. Oh, it's five. It's five. Domination. Pretty solid at the back as well from Cannavaro. A few nice little uh, nice little moments of defensive action there. And we get that rage quit. Beautiful. Cannavaro. Decent ball out wide to Davies. We'll take it. Oh, hello. Hello. Alfonso. Travella from there. I mean, uh, I definitely crossed the line. I swear it. That would have been a bit of a jammy goal though. All right. Part ways a little bit for big man Fabio. Little one to Vieira. Back to the boy. Let's stride. Let's stride. Use that pace. Use that physical now. Like the left stick's not half bad, you know. Little give and go. That's got Chavela written all over it. We green it. Ah, ever since the patch them, I said about can't score Chavelas. But if you want to go on an adventure, you definitely can with a boy because he can move. Fabio, stay strong here. Now have him. Happy days. Happy days. He's quick and aggressive, which I'm a fan of. Yes, Cannavaro. No nonsense wins the challenge. He's honestly been really solid defensively for me. Like Pretty much majority of every challenge he's gone into. Apart from the first game where we got bullied a little bit. He's come away with it. But I guess you've got to expect that a little bit with a centre-back with a, not a crazy amount of height. We've got to score that as well, Eusebio. Yes, lovely read. Almost baited it out there. Bit of defending on the cards here. Oh, yes, Fabio. My boy, Cannavaro. When it looked like it was a little bit dangerous because uh, Kane had a lot of space, we had to commit and make the tackle. We did. Fabio, no nonsense, wins the ball. Huge from the big man. All right, don't quite come away with the ball there, but... Cafu gets it. One thing he doesn't have, which a lot of the bigger overpowered center backs like Virgil van Dijk, Saliba do have, is the reach, like the long legs to make those kind of tackles where you want to wrap around your opponent almost. He doesn't have that. You've got, you've got to be very precise and accurate with your tackles. Hold on, where are we going, lad? Where are we? Oh, come on, man. Yes, Cannavaro positioned nicely again, makes that block. Let's go, man. Beautiful little counter-attack goal. So honestly, I really, really enjoyed this card. I thought Cannavaro was super solid for me. Just that one little, like, not quite, uh, it's not quite his fault, to be fair with you. Like, he did get bullied a little bit, but he maybe isn't the most physical, which you'd expect. And the reach, or like, he doesn't have the longest of legs being 5'9", definitely is noticeable. Because, like, VVD, you can almost wrap around and dominate with tackles like that. With this man, you've got to be very accurate when you decide to actually press the tackle button. But apart from that, really solid. Reactions, fantastic. Feels quick to jockey with. The defending, no nonsense. He's there making tackles. 
positioned really well. Physicals are good. I think he'll be fine, but don't expect to bully like bully everybody. Occasionally you're gonna get beaten being five foot nine. Defending uh playstyle is brilliant. You've got all of the really uh essential ones here. I would love jockey though, of course. The only one thing that does kind of annoy me a bit are the playstyle pluses, but considering the price of the SBC, I guess they might come in clutch. You know, acrobatic less so. But aerial, maybe that might help you out if you uh, do come up for corners or need to defend the box. You could jump higher. Being smaller, it could come in clutch for you. Now, price tag. I wanted to confirm it real quick because Foot.gg was saying one thing and then I had a different thing for Footbin. So 370k on Footbin. I think that's reasonable. I think that is a reasonable price for this card. If he was on the market, I think you'd fetch something similar. In regards to the boost, it's pretty uh, pretty substantial as well. Like 89 up to a 91. Nice boost in a fair few stats there. I think it's a bit I think it's a bit of a W. I'm going to say it. It's a dub for sure. If you want to consider crafting this card, I'd say get stuck into it. Craft over time. Very, very reasonable price and a fantastic center back. But one thing I will say, if you've not used smaller center backs, definitely complete the loan and try them out yourself because you might just not get on with him this year. I'm used to the big boys. I have a Cannavaro. It definitely impressed me. And I will consider competing this man for sure. But let me know your opinion down below. I've been Morsi. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys later.